And now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed wow, in Africa, wow, wow, wow. Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. It makes sense. It seems like slavery was obviously a thing that happened since the dawn of time or close to the dawn of time. But people nowadays make it seem like the only people who were slaves or, well, they make a big deal out of it is American black people. And obviously that's not the case. Slavery existed, existed throughout the whole entire human race. And this is a very interesting video so far from Candace Owens. And we'll keep going. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce, as much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a Slavery Abolition Act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous it. actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just very a few. Very, very Instead, true. we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all... And that's what I was saying. It seems as if... Obviously, if you study your history, you know that's not the case, that slavery was solely by the white man. You know that slavery was a thing of most of human history or the most of the human race. But the propaganda has made people to believe that black people or the white man was the only one to enslave people and that black people are the only ones to be enslaved when that was obviously not the case. All persistent lies. This lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. 
For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then, and no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. Crazy, but we hear almost crazy. nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. So that was a very, um, that was an interesting video. I would like to personally fact check a few things for, um, and I would do that in my own time, but it was an interesting video to see um, her talk about this. But what I would take from this is it is the case that definitely we seem to believe that only the white man was the one to enslave people. And that was totally not the case. It, it was definitely not the case that those were the only race or that was the only race that enslaved people. There was many other races, but for some reason, we never seem to talk about any of the other races. It always seems to be the white man is the one who does all the evil in the world, which is not the case. And many people will be angry at this video, and I don't blame them for being angry at it. Some people want to be angry against the truth, and that's just the way it is. The truth is the truth, regardless of whether it hurts your feelings or not. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Comment down below. Let's get a discussion going down below. I'll reply to as many comments as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Guy, And I am out.